tomorrow is a big election day. Trump will probably win in a landslide because we are dealing with America and they don't care if that man got 34 felony convictions and got harassment charges and all kind of charges. He attacks cheap. So I'm looking for Trump to win that, win the election. I could do four more years, I've got no choice. I adapt to everything. And for people out there who say that voting doesn't matter, politicians, uh, Congress mostly, they pass all the laws and legislation in America. So yeah, every vote still counts. And if you know your history, African-Americans, they died for the right to vote. And if voting didn't matter, they wouldn't make it so hard for certain groups not to vote. By running schemes, scams, and changing where you're supposed to vote from one year to the other. Man, the people that followed Trump, they brainwashed. They follow him like people follow Jesus. Do y'all remember when the Saints started out 2-0? I was scoring 40 points a game and all that. And they promptly lost their last seven games. Now they fired their head coach, Dennis Allen. Now on the season, they two and seven. They trash. So they changed course and fired their head coach. Now Darren Rizzi is going to be the head coach, the interim head coach. Now Dennis Allen... He was in his third season as coach, and it's the second time in his career where he was let go during midseason when he coached the Raiders in 2014. They fired him midseason. Now, Dennis Allen, he has an 18 and 25 record with the New Orleans Saints. Now, in 2023, his team did go nine and eight. But as a head coach with both teams, he's never reached the playoffs. This is an example of a coach being a better coordinator than head coach. He had two opportunities. Probably won't get a third as a head coach. But he'll, he'll bounce back. He'll be a coordinator somewhere. Now look for the Saints. They trade a bunch of players before the trade deadline tomorrow. They gotta do they gotta rebuild. It's over. They can't keep going forward with this roster. Two and seven. Trade players and get draft picks and assets back. They got some talent on the offense. Like Alvin Kamara, trade him and get some draft picks for him. I would even trade. Derek Carp, somebody won them. It was going to give me a draft pick. You're two and seven. They're not going to the playoffs. Start the rebuild now, Saints. You lost to Carolina yesterday. Carolina. And Bryce Young was the quarterback. It's the quarterback. You couldn't beat them. So I would just trade a bunch of players and get draft picks. And a couple of young players back. That's me if I was the GM. You fired the head coach. So it's obvious you gave up on the season. You think the interim coach is going to give you a spark? He might. He might not. You see how that's going with the Jets? Me, personally, I'm trading everybody I can in New Orleans and tell them the fan base we rebuilding immediately. Look. Alvin Kamara's not going to be on the roster next year. He ain't taking no major pay cut. He on the books for like $22 million next year. You're not going to keep Alvin Kamara at, them, at, that, at that number. So trade him and get some draft picks. He's still, a good, he's still a good running back. One of the best running backs in the league. You could probably get a fourth round pick for him. You got to rebuild, Saints. Oh, man, I was watching the Eagles, man, yesterday. Oh, they're a funny team, man. Their head coach keeps going for two-point conversions and keep failing. For what? Why do you keep going for two? You had no reason to go for two. 
then bypassing field goals. Like, what kind of coaching was he doing? Now, it's good to be aggressive, but Eagles coach Nick Sariani was just being stupid. I don't know what kind of coach he was doing. And Jacksonville had a chance to win the game, but Trevor Lawrence, he ain't clutch. He's not clutch. He threw an interception. He threw a terrible pass to the running back. And that's how the Eagles was able to win the game. If Jacksonville had a better quarterback and didn't throw an interception on that last possession, they could have came back from 22 nothing to beat the Eagles. Because Nick Sirianni was doing everything possible to lose the football game. Just making dumb moves, head scratcher moves after scoring touchdowns. But the Eagles could run the ball, they could throw the ball, they're playing better defense because their defense is not on the field all day. So they can go full speed. The defense isn't tired if you're not on the field all day. But Eagle fans do not trust Nick Sirianni. To me, he's not a good football coach. But every time I watch the Eagles game, they do some dumb stuff that makes me laugh. The Eagles got the most talent in the NFC. Now you can say the Detroit Lions, but I'm gonna say the Philadelphia Eagles. They're kind of winning in spite of their head coach. He does stupid stuff every week. I love it. I do, I love it. Eagles do not trust Nick Seriani as their head coach. They don't. They was booing after touchdowns. Who boos after scoring touchdowns? What fans boo after scoring touchdowns? Eagle fans, that's who. And I couldn't blame them. Look, I'm out with you guys later. I'm gonna finish this walk. I'm trying to do six miles a day.